are a juice lover, well then we have just the perfect, tasty, scrumptious treat for you. Today I am at Olivia's Juice Bar in the heart of GRA Ikeja with Huh, how do I even say this? She is a legend in the juice world. <laughs> Her juices are renowned for their taste and also for their, you know, pure and natural consistency. Of course, I'm talking about Madam Olivia of Olivia's Juice Bar. So nice to see you, ma. <laughs> nice to see Thank you. you for having us in your space. Thank you. You're welcome. So let's talk everything juice business. Okay, no problem. How did you start building this amazing juice brand? I actually started juicing in my home just for my family then when guests will come if i have visitors i'll give them a bit of my pineapple pineapple and ginger you know just doing different mixes then people now started saying why not take this thing out mm. why not start selling it i said mm, i've never seen anybody do it i don't even know how to go about it i don't even know where to start but i played around it for three years i didn't start wow. afterwards I started selling in my church after service. Okay. I just opened my boots, sell a few bottles. Mm -hmm. Then after some time, I stopped. When I was doing my master's in uni, uni lab, mm. I used to just carry some few bottles. Before the lecturer would come in, I finished selling. Wow. The lecturer would step into the class. He would just see bottles of juices on the, <laughs> on the table. Then he would be asking, uh -uh, are you people trained? Are you people having a party? Mm. Then some of them would say, this is Olivia juice. Actually, that is where the name came from. Okay. What did I start with? I still wear, I started without my kitchen blender. Then I bought one small juicer wow. for 6,000. It was second new. I bought it for 6,000. I will mm. not forget the exact amount because mm. I didn't have so much cash on me. Mm. The first mm. market I ever went to, I went to 1,000 naira. Wow. How long have you been doing the entire business from when you started yeah, until now. today? Yes. Nine years. Wow. Nine, nine years. years. I want to know about the nine years you've been in the business and what challenges have you faced? Maybe there have been so many challenges. The initial challenge I had when I started was with power. Okay. You can imagine I'll do about maybe 200 bottles of juices, leave them in the freezer. The following day when I come, everything has fermented. Wow. I have to throw everything away. Wow, 200 bottles. Yes, because wow. you don't want to give your customers something bad. No. We'll start again. You know, as the business started growing and I'm employing more people, yeah. challenge of staff, you train. After hmm. train, training them, they'll leave. Wow. Some will leave with your money. Some, some will even leave with your customers. But wow. you see, my customers eventually come back. Mm. Because when they go out, they test other juices, they stay come back. Yeah, taste. I don't go down on my standard. Mm. I mean, that's what gives me an edge over my, my competitors. Yeah. Yeah, this is a smoothies machine. Maybe I should bring it out so you see. Mm -hmm. This is a cup with this watermelon, the red one, pineapple and banana. It's a smoothie I want to do, not the juice. Okay. If it's the juice, I use a juicer. This is a smoothies machine. Okay. So, I'm blending now. Looks thick. Yeah, that's a smoothie. So I want to pour the smoothie I just did now. Okay. This is the watermelon, pineapple, and banana smoothie. Oh, fantastic. Some people love it in cups, some in bottles. Okay. And bottle is handy. It's oh, fantastic, handy. fantastic. And I want to ask you, because I'm sure everyone is now thinking, watching at home, how lucrative is this juice business? Is it going to buy me a private jet? So how lucrative would you say the juice business is? <laughs> It's very lucrative. Very. What, when I started, I said my startup capital wasn't much. But the, I said the first, the first market I went to, I bought things for 1,000 naira. Okay. I don't want to say it, but I don't want to tell you what I'm worth now, what Olivia juice is worth now. Okay. You see, this is the watermelon, pineapple, and banana. Okay. Can I Smoothie. taste it? Yeah. The moment of truth, I'm about to have my first taste. So this is. Banana, pineapple, and a watermelon, watermelon smoothie. This is a smoothie, not the juice. The smoothie is thicker and it's more expensive. Mm -hmm. It's nice. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice blend of all the flavors. So thank, thank you so you. much. This was just so nice being with you and finding out more about you know the process of making juice and the business, the money behind <laughs> behind the juice. So now we're going to play a little game. It's called the Smartpreneur game. I'm going to ask you a question mm -hmm. and you have to answer 
really quickly without having time to think, okay? So I'm going to ask you, what are the ingredients, that can these ingredients be used to make fresh juice? Okay? Then you can answer yes or no. Okay. okay. Sugar? Nope. Watermelon? Yes. Apple? Yes. Mango? Yes. Avocado? Yes. Maggie? No. <laughs> Pineapple? Yes. Banana? Yes. Curry? No. Salt? No. Carrots? Yes. Ginger? Yes. Pepper? No. Ketchup? No. I'm surprised. <laughs> I thought you could put pepper, ah. like to give it a kick. No, 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 no. No? If, if you want it hot, you use ginger. Ah. Mm -hmm. oh. You can use garlic too. Okay, but no pepper. No, no pepper. Okay. Madam Olivia, thank you so much for having us in your wonderful space. Thank spilling you. some of your You're welcome. Aww. Thank you. <laughs> we learned some secrets about the juice industry and also, you know, how lucrative it is. So I'm sure you've inspired many people out there to get into the I juice game so. and get that money. Because <laughs> that's what we love on Smartpreneur. <laughs>